let's do some stoichiometry problems. So um, these are titration problems, and they're nothing more than stoichiometry. First, you have to write an equation that says, calculate the pH when the following quantities of 0.1 molar NaOH. So I'm going to go ahead and this is plus 1, minus 1. Just ignore that spectator ion, just write OH minus. Have been added to 50 mils of 0.1 molar HCl, again ignoring this spectator ion, just adding the H plus. So you can say that you have an acid and base reaction and that's going to make water. So all you have to know to get the pH is figure out, you know, which one you have more of, pretty much. So you have 0.1 molar of NaOH, so this is 0.1 molar, and you added 50 mils of 0.1 molar HCl, so this is 0.1 molar, and you've added 50 milliliters. And you've added letter A, 49 milliliters of the NaOH, 49 milliliters. Okay, so first you should notice that you have the same molarity, which means if you have 50 mils of H+, plus, 50 mils of H-, minus, they will cancel each other out and become neutral, pH 7. But here, which one do you have more of? Well, it looks like you have more H pluses, which means this will be acidic. Then to get that pH, just um, log it. Log the H pluses. So first you have to know how many moles you have, so you multiply these two. 0.1 molar means moles over liters times, this is, you move it over three times, 0.049 liters. Okay, that will give you 0 0.0049 moles of HCl, of OH minus, I'm sorry. <laughs> you do the same thing here. So you multiply those two numbers, 0.1 moles per liter times 1, 2, 3, 0 0.0500 liters. <clears throat> is equal to 0.00500 moles of H+. Plus. Looks like you have more of that H+, plus here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to get the molarity so I can plug it into my icebox. So to get molarity, I have to divide it by the liters. Okay, you know that you added this beaker to this beaker. You know that you mix those, right? You used to have 49.0 mils here and you have 50.0 mils here. So if you add them together, how many milliliters do you have total? Yes, 49 plus 50 is 99 milliliters, so it's 0 0.099 liters. You divide those and you're going to get the molarity. So you have 0.049 here, molar, 0.051 here, molar. Um, um, so now you're going to do your icebox. I'm going to rewrite the equation because it's too far away. <laughs> so you have H plus, or this OH minus, H plus. and H2O. Okay, so it's going to be minus minus X, which is going to be obviously you're going to use all of this, right? You're going to use all of this. So what you have, you don't have any OH minuses left, and you have this much, 0 0.002, and this is the molarity of H+, and that should give you the pH. The pH is going to be equal to negative log of 0 0.002, which is equal to 2.7. So what does that mean? Even if you have a, just a little bit less, just a little bit more H+, plus, like one milliliter more of the H+, plus, your pH is still very, very low. Okay? Now, now you're going to add, for letter B, instead of adding 49, 
Now you're going to add 51 mils. Remember, this is of NaOH, of OH minuses, and this is OH minuses. Okay? So now, obviously, you have more OH minuses. So let's see what happens to the pH. Can you guess what will happen? Now you have more OH minuses, so your pH will be higher. Will it be pH 8? Will it be pH 9? pH 12, 13, 14? Okay? What do you think? Pause the video and do this yourself. So I wrote the equation. I wrote the givens. I'm multiplying these two numbers now right here, and I'm going to get 0 0.00510. And this is moles. And multiplying this, I'm going to get 0 0.00500. And this is moles of um, H+. Plus. Divide both of them by the total volume, 51 plus 50, because you mix them together, you're going to get 101.101 liters, 0.101 liters. And this will give you the molarity to plug into the icebox. So the molarity here is, this is equal to 0.051 molar, 0.05 O molar, okay. So minus point oh five O minus point oh five O. You don't have any H pluses left, and you all you have are OH minuses. Point oh oh one molar of OH minus. Okay, if you log that. P, it'll get POH because it's OH minus log of 0 0.001. I can actually do that in my head. That's 10 to the negative 3. So that means this is pH 3. POH 3. And then subtract that from 14. That'll be pH is equal to 11. So your pH shoots up to 11. Okay. So I just want you to see what happened here. Here you have only 1 milliliter more of the H plus, right? Because it was from 49 to 50. And here you have 51 to 50, you have one more milliliter of the base. Just one milliliter made your, or actually two total, made your jump, made it jump from 2.7 pH all the way to 11. So when you look at your pH curve, remember how it's like really low down here and it jumps from pH 2.7 and it jumps straight to 11. Now you know why it's just a straight line going up. It's because when you've added a little bit of base, your pH shoots up really well and that's why. Okay? All right. So you learned um, about the strength of your acid. Remember here, if you have a strong acid, you're gonna stay, you're gonna go down here, it's gonna be low, and then when you add the base, it's gonna shoot up, right? And you know why it shoots up now. It's because over here, you in this point you have more H pluses, in this point you have more OH minuses. That's why it shoots up. Now, if you have a weaker acid, then you you don't start as low, you have a higher pH because it's a weak acid. And your equivalence point here, your equivalence point for the both strongs is pH 7, oh, right here, right? But if it's a weak acid, your pH goes up. Because the reason why, if you have a weak acid, like HC2, H3O2, at equivalence point, all of these are gone, and all you have in the water is the acetate ion, and that hydrolyzes to make Hc2H3O2 plus OH minus. So at equivalence point, you're a little bit basic. So now you can see it's a little bit basic at equivalence point. With weaker acids, the initial pH, so you start higher and the pH changes near the equivalence point are more subtle. So you can't see much of a change because you're starting high already. Okay, again, 
you have different indicators. If your pH is changing, if your equivalence point is right at 10, you can't use phenolphthalein anymore because phenolphthalein changes at 8. So pick something, this is pH 10, pick an indicator, I would pick this guy right here. Whatever this is that I can't read, that one goes from yellow to pink around that area, you want to use that indicator. You want to pick the indicator that is close to the equivalence point. Okay, let's do another problem here. It says, calculate the pH of the solution formed when 45 mils of 0.1 molar NaOH. So again, you have So I'm going to write OH here as um, the second reactant. You're adding it to CH3COOH. This is acetic acid. Another way of writing that is HC2H3O2. That's the same thing. Okay, so I'm ignoring the Na+. It's a spectator ion. So what does that make? Well, the H will go here, you're going to make water, and you're going to make the conjugate base, CH3COO-. So you can see you can potentially make a buffer here, right? Because you have the base and the acid, I mean the acid and the base. Okay, let's see how much we have. We have 45 mils of the base, so you have 45.0 mils of this, and you have 0.1 molar, added to 50 mils of this, 50.0 mils, and you have 0.1 molar as well. Okay, so then you're going to change the color. Multiply these two to get the moles. So it's going to be 0.05 times 0.1 is 0.00. Okay, so multiply these here to get moles. I'm gonna, this is gonna be 0 0.005, no, I'm sorry, 0 0.0500 liters, right? Multiply these two, I'm gonna get 0 0.005 moles. Multiply these two, I'm gonna get 0 0.0045 moles divided by you add this number and this number, 95 milliliters, 0 0.095 liters, 0 0.095 liters, equals to 0.0526 molars and 0 0.0474 molar. Okay, and you have zero of this guy right here. There's your ice box. So now I'm going to use up all my base, 0 0.0474 minus 0 0.0474 plus 0 0.0474. Because if I use this, it'll become this conjugate base. So if you subtract this, you don't have any more OH minuses. You subtract this, you get... 0 0.00523 you don't have any of that and you're going to get 0 0.0474 okay to get the pH of this you have conjugate acid and it's conjugate base so you're going to use the henderson hasselbach equation pH is equal to pKa plus log of Ba This is acetic acid, so that's Ka, log that, you're going to get 4.74, we've been using that a lot, started to memorize it, plus log of, the conjugate base is this one, 0.0474, that's molarity, and this is the 0.00523. Go ahead and plug that in the calculator, and you should get 5.70. Okay?
Here's another exercise. Go ahead and pause the video and try it yourself. Okay, it says calculate the pH in a solution by adding 10 mils of NaOH. So I wrote the NaOH here, OH minus, and I wrote 10 mils and 0.05 here, 0.025 molar benzoic acid, and here's the acid, knowing that this is the acidic proton that comes off. So I wrote that here. I wrote 40 mils, 0.025. They gave me the Ka, so I don't have to look it up. Okay, so I multiplied these two to get moles. So I got 0.001 moles. I multiplied these two to get moles. I got 0.1235 moles. Then I added the total volume, 40 plus 10 is equal to 50, 0.050 liters, 0.050 liters. So my icebox looks like this. This is this divided by this is equal to 0 0.02 molar, 0 0.01 molar, and zero of this. So obviously you're going to use the OH minus, you won't have any left. You're going to use half of it, it looks like, right? 0 0.01, not 0 0.07. <laughs> you used half of it, 0 0.01, and you're going to add 0 0.01 to the conjugate base, 0 0.01. So now you have half and half, you know your pH is going to be equal to pKa, because pH equals pKa plus log of Ba, base over acid is equal to take the log of 6.3 e negative 5 and it should have been 4.20 plus log of 0 0.01 0 0.01 they're equal log of 1 is equal to 0 so your pH will be 4.20 So pause the video and try this yourself. For this one, you have a base this time. And you're adding H plus to it. And H4 plus. Right? So here you have 20 mils. 0.1 molar, 10 mils, 0.1 molar, I think. 10 mils, 0.1, yeah. Okay, so multiplying this two, I got 0 0.002 moles, 0 0.001 moles. Multiplying these two, divided by 20 plus 10 is 30, 0 0.030 liters. So I got 0 0.0667, 0 0.0333, and 0. Okay, minus 0 0.0333 plus 0 0.0333 minus 0 0.0333. You used up all the H pluses, you have none. You have 0 0.0334. 0.0333. So you're pretty much at pKa. So pH is equal to pKa plus log of Ba, which is 0 0.03. That's the base. No, base is over here. 0 0.0334. 0 0.0333. You know this is going to cancel because they're pretty much equal, right? So pH will be equal to pKa. In this case, this is NH3. So you have to look it up on the chart, which you, they will give you pKb. And that's the trick, OK? So appendix D is right here. Ammonia here. Kb is right there, 1.8 E negative 5. So pKb equals negative log of 1.8. A E negative 5, which is equal to 4.74, and then to get pKa, you're going to do 14 minus 4.74, 9.26.
So your pH is going to be equal to pKa, and it's going to be 9.26.